Up the Contreras fire is still uncontained and challenging firefighters to control it. The fight is so difficult. The fire is now rated the number one priority to wildland fires in the entire U.S. And part of the priority is the Kitt Peak Observatory in the path of that fire. Kick on nine on your sides. Craig Smith is live near Kitt Peak now. What can you tell us, Craig? Well, right now we're trying to get a better damage assessment of what happened to the observatory grounds as that fire went through. Right now, the best information we have is that the crews up there are still devoting themselves and devoting their time to hot spots and mop up. This video shows the fire approaching the observatory Thursday afternoon. The fire hit Kitt Peak about 2 a.m., burning hot enough to break through the lines of fire retardant. Air tankers dropped to try to shut the fire out. But firefighters were waiting for the blaze. Hotshot crews and crews on fire engines meant for structure fires were already at the observatory. Firefighters say the observatory staff routinely took firewise precautions, like clearing large buffers around buildings so fires have less fuel to carry flames up to the structures. The value of the observatory and the tough conditions are part of the reasons the Contreras fire is now the national firefighter system's number one priority. And what that means is that if we need additional resources, we're at the top of the list. And, and that's a tremendous asset in terms of trying to order resources. And you consider some of the other fires that are going on in the landscape and the resources that they need. And now that we are number one, that gives us a great opportunity to get those resources we need. The priority treatment will allow for more air assets and more foot crews are arriving to take on the fire. Now, not a lot of people live out in this area, but last night fire commanders decided they'd better play it safe and evacuate a small Tahana Otham village called Pontak. The fire did not actually reach there, and everyone involved evacuated safely and smoothly. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. All right, Craig, thank you.